Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a setup on this Anchor Eufy Robot Vacuum, model number 25C. So I just did an unboxing and I'm gonna be setting it up for the first time. I've got all the components out. I haven't done anything to it yet, but take it out of the box and I'm gonna set it up per the manual. The manual looks like it's written pretty well. It's got some tips. Make sure you don't have any like um, carpets with those strings attached. And, and make sure there's no stairs close by and different things and, and there's no moisture. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the side brushes. So again, I've just unboxed it. I haven't taken anything out. I haven't done anything to anything. Okay, so on the side here, I am gonna remove these things. So the manual doesn't talk about these little things, but the sticker says remove before use. So there's one on this side and then there's one on this side. That's like a bumper now. So it comes with these brushes. I'm gonna flip the machine over and they should snap on. It'll only go one way because there's the opening. Yeah, they're very easy to put on. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this sticker. It says switch on before use. So we gotta come over here There's, the, there's an on-off switch, so we're going to switch that on, and there we go. Now I'm going to make sure I place this on the floor. So now it talks about the place the charging base on a level surface and against the wall. And it says make sure there's three feet and six feet kind of clear around it. Okay, so the way this works, there's the charging. It's going to roll up on there and charge. Here's, it's got some grippy things, but there's where the, this is the power cord. So you're gonna have to plug the power cord in right there and then undo the cord and then go plug it in. It does have some cord storage here. Okay, so I've got it installed on this receptacle here. And so they want three feet on either side to be clear. That seems like a lot. So it talks about if you cannot remove the objects, check whether the RoboVac can return to the charging base normally. If not, contact Eufy customer service for help. So again, six feet in front of it, that's, a, that's quite a ways. So they do recommend putting it on a hard surface instead of like rugs, because it could get a little wobbly if it's on a rug. So they definitely recommend on a hard level surface. Talks about always keep the charging base plugged in, otherwise the RoboVac will not automatically return to it. And it talks about it has this that has a battery inside it that has to be recharged before first use. So here we have the unit. So again, here this is considered like the front. There's like that bumper and there's like the steering wheel. These are the charging. This those two things are going to contact that, and that's how it's going to charge that battery right there. So I've got the switch on. And now we're gonna go place it on the charging base. Again, that's the metal, we wanna line those up. And the unit hasn't moved, but I, my lights are on here and I'm not gonna press those lights. I've got that switch on, I'm gonna go place it on the charger. Okay, so let's just move it up. Okay, so when I moved it up, that light changed to like charging. The Wi-Fi light's still lighting, we still gotta set the Wi-Fi up. So that was pretty simple to do. And there is a little light on the base there too. Yeah, you just follow it up until it bumps, and then that light comes on. Okay, so I've got the remote now. It does come with two AAA batteries. Let's open the remote. Make sure you monitor the polarity. On the right-hand side, the positive goes down. And on the left, it goes up. It's kind of nice. The beeps are going to tell us a lot. So one beep is standard, two beeps is boost, three beeps is max. And it tells you what the icons mean on the top of it. Charge, auto clean, edge clean, spot clean, quick clean. Okay, so it says we've got to let it charge. It doesn't say how long to let it charge. But we're, I'm going to download this Eufy Home app. So it says you can get it on the Apple Store or Google Play. I've got an Android device, so I'll be getting it on the Google Play. Okay, so I searched in Google Play and it says Eufy Home App by Anchor. That's what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and install it. 
And so you have to have Wi-Fi, a Wi-Fi signal in your house, and it runs on the 2.4 gigahertz signal. So make sure your router has that. If it's an older router, it should. Again, it talks about the Wi-Fi status light on the unit. When it's slowly flashing, it's waiting for connection. Rapidly flashing, connecting. Solid blue means it's connected. And so mine is slowly flashing. That means it's waiting to be connected. Okay, I'm going to click open. Looks like you got to agree. I'm probably going to have to create an account. So if you don't have an account, you do have to create an account with an email address and password. Okay, so once I gave it a username or a, my email and a password, it took me to add device. So now we're going to click on add device. We're going to add a robot vacuum. And we're going to select which one we have. We've got the 25C. So there's a 25C max, but then down here there's just a normal 25C. Once you click on it, click this little arrow right here. It's hard to see. It's right here. So it has location is, you got to give it permission. Okay, so it keeps asking for this network name. Normally it scans and looks for your Wi-Fi. It will do that, but you just got to keep hitting this little arrow right here. I had to hit it a couple times. Once you finally hit it, then it will scan. There's my Wi-Fi right there. So I'm going to click on it. Now it brought it up. That way I don't have to manually type it in. It will scan for it and search for your Wi-Fi, but it was a little tricky. Now I'll put the password for your Wi-Fi in. Okay. It says turn on. Make sure the Wi-Fi status light is flashing slowly. Yes, it is. Click next. So it's, you got to click this little thing here that says status confirmed. Check that little box, then you can click next. We found the following devices, so click on it to add it. The phone is not connected. Network, please reconnect. So that was a little tricky. Let's click the add button again. Okay, so we've got to go connect. My tablet's connected to my Wi-Fi. They want you to connect to the Wi-Fi being transmitted by the, the robot. So go to Wi-Fi. So when you click the, the settings, you're going to see under Wi-Fi the Eufy robot vacuum. That's what you want to click on. Now your tab, my tablet or phone is connected to that and not your Wi-Fi. So i got to click my back button. Now hit plus. Now it connected. So now it's connecting to the robot vacuum. So I had to switch my Wi-Fi so that my Wi-Fi was connected to the Wi-Fi being transmitted by the vacuum. And keep it says keep them close to each other. So I'm going to give it a name. So I gave it a name, AnchorVac. You can type it in there and hit save name. Congrats. Click OK. Okay, so now I've got a status symbol here. It says it's charging. Click on it. So this is like an intro. It says you can see the status of the charging. You can tap play, pause, and press directional bu buttons to manually control the cleaning. Tap here to see the cleaning mode down here. Tap here to switch between Auto, quick clean, spot edge, so it's going to give you the buttons on your screen as it does on top of it. And tap here to set. Tap here to set weekly cleaning schedules. So right there. That's a pretty nice little intro. Tap here to find the robot back. So click done. So there's like the home screen. So it says it's charging. So this is what the app looks like. I'm going to let it charge. I'll play around with the app later, but at least it's connected. And so my phone, my tablet reconnected to the Wi-Fi. So after it was done setting up, it automatically disconnected and reconnected to my Wi-Fi that's being in the house. And now my, my Wi-Fi light is steady. That means I'm connected. Okay, so we want to wait for the charging light to turn blue. That means the unit is fully charged. Okay, so I moved it to another room. This is the room I'm going to be uh, doing my detailed review and see how it cleans. So that took about two hours for that light to go 
to turn steady blue. That means it's fully charged and ready to go. So be sure and check out my next video where I'm going to show you how it cleans the room. Thanks everybody for watching.